what's good family so mash the like button and subscribe oh no oh no your boy the yb posted up a video leaking one of his exclusive sources deep inside tyson scary's camp yesterday and i told you man that it wasn't official yet but people deep inside his camp had let me know that tyson scary and his team are planning on pulling mugging off the fans and a legend their their team has c19 and therefore we, w we won't be fulfilling the july 24th date that's what i told you man yeah a day ago now before weren't no one else talking about this 100 percent leaked from the yb put the video out telling you man i've heard from sources deep inside the camp anyway two twos certain certain goofy donnies in my comments oh yb you know bbc saying this and bbc saying that and it's not confirmed and Oops. Now, what do we know? Much like the YB told you, man, three months ago, Tyson Scare is going to pull out. Like clockwork, it's now official. And just check this out, because no one else told you that this was all big fake news business. I told you. Pure fake news, pure made up. And do you know how they, these goofy people, yeah, they laugh at the fans. Because all you man, there's certain man who bought tickets and whatnot. All you man who have lost money, they're laughing at you. Yeah? That's what they're doing, and I'm going to prove to you how they're laughing at you right now. Let me give you, man, the scoop here from some of these goofy sources. Yeah? Check this out. The Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder trilogy fight scheduled for July 24th has been postponed until early October. After a spread of C19 positives swept through Las Vegas gym in Tyson Fury's camp. Anyway, blah, 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 but the bit here, yeah. This is, this is the bit I want you man to concentrate on, in terms of how, how much they're mugging the fans off. At least 10 people have got it, including Tyson Scary. 10 people? Are you just... No word of a lie. The daily UK numbers are like 10, man. I swear down. The daily UK numbers are like 10, man. You, check it out yourself. I'm not, I'm not even joking. The daily, the, daily, the daily UK numbers, 10, man. And it's like 70 million people. I don't, you got a camp who are obviously aware and I've got another video coming soon. Tyson Scary has been fully vaccinated, fully, 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 fully shot up. He's, a, he's had all the cabal juices up inside him. So wait there, you've been fully shot up and your man Bob Aaron was promoting it and shouting it from the rooftops. No doubt about that. Shouting it from the rooftops. Yeah, he's fully done. He's fully shot up. The cabal has got all their juice inside him. That's what he said. So how can... People who are fully fat, and what, check this out as well. What do we know? Tyson Scare has been partying, meeting up with randoms, doing the most in Miami, at the Billy Ho Saunders fight, doing the most there, in all in the crowd, all in the video. Guess what? All in the party, all bouncing off the walls on the tables, as I've reported on. Guess what? Not a lick of C19 for the last year. All the partying, all the people, all the. Next thing we know, what do we know? Two dudes, Sky. S Sun News. Sun News. What do we see? Tyson Scary with some some next bimbo dons. Some next bimbo dons. Oiling them up. Tyson's been doing the most. Listen, if there's anyone who's... If there's anyone... What's that thing called? I've got his name. Listen, the point is, if there's anyone's body, yeah? Immune system. If anyone's immune system is fully built up and resistant. Or not even resistant. If anyone's immune system is naturally protected, it's going to be Tyson Scaries, because he's been doing the most. I've not, I haven't seen someone with so much variation in their life. He's been exposed to everyone over the last year. And we've got the pictures to prove it. So Mr. He should have a natural resistance anyway, because he hasn't reported it. He hasn't had it, but he's been everywhere. And then he's been shot up, and he's had the juice inside him. So... Someone needs to explain to me, how can you have, how can, and this is the thing, Tyson Scary, yeah, has been with his camp, he's been in Las Vegas for months, with the same people, so how can you be with the same people for months, doing the most with them, partying with his trainer, you saw the video I put out, him and his trainer bouncing off the walls, we've seen all the evidence, Tyson Scary everywhere, all in the video, not a lick of C19, all of a sudden, we start getting close to a fight people want to watch. Oh, this one. And then, 
They have the audacity to mug you dons off and tell you, oh, he's got there's 10 people with it. And what they don't realise is, the reason they say it's 10 people, they, they say that, number one, to mug the fans off. But number two, most importantly, they want to make it dramatic. Yeah, They don't want to say, oh, it's one man. Because if, if they say, oh, it's one man, then people say, well, why can't you just crack on, isolate the one don and move on? So, so they have to say a massive number. But in doing so, they expose themselves. In saying it's 10, it becomes blatantly obvious if it wasn't already, just making it up. There's no way. There's no way. No way. We know that people are put to... Well, we know, especially in these kind of camps, they're only allowed, or they've only been allowed to operate if they're following strict guidelines. And whatever else. Otherwise, they'd be shut down. But putting that to one side, I'm sure there'll be some goofy Tyson Scary fans who say, well, well, oh, you know why be Tyson Scary, he doesn't follow regulations. Well, if that was the case, why hasn't he caught it before then? Isn't it? It's one, you can't have it both ways. Either he's loosey-goosey and he would have had it already, or he follows it strict and he shouldn't, there shouldn't be 10 man with it anyway. So which is it? Because either way, it's made up. And I've got another video coming soon. I don't really want to leak it right now, but you know what? In fact... I'm going to save that because I don't, want, I don't want any of these goofy channels, you know what they're like, they watch the YB's video and then because they bang the YouTube thing too hard, they end up getting the exclusive up before me, but I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that no more, yeah? So all you goofy channels, I'm, I'm not giving you any human no more freebies, you have to wait, no doubt, yeah? About 10 people had it, 10 people had it, like I said, there weren't 10 people in the UK who had it in one, in one day out of nowhere. Not the next thing you know, you got John, you got John Fury rocking up. Oh yeah, my son, and he he got it, and uh -huh. listen. In fact, you know what? Let me not even go into that because I I I, I, re I really don't want to leak my exclusive source. That's coming. Oh, I don't want I don't want to ruin my exclusive video coming up soon. Yeah, but let's get back to this thing here. Let's get back to this mugging because I've actually heard from people yeah who'd book tickets, who'd book plane tickets. And it's like, they're just gone now. You've just been mugged. And then, it's one thing if there's a bit of genuineness about it, but you've literally been absolutely mugged off. But it's your, in a way, it's your own fault. Because number one, the YB told you it was going to happen. And number two, that's Tyson Scary all over. He don't care nothing about the fans. People slag AJ off here, yeah, but whatever we say about AJ, he's consistent. He ain't pulling out for nothing. To his detriment, really. Many people would have liked for him to have pulled out against Andy Margin Boo, Ruiz, but he cracked on. All delirious and ish, but still got on with it. And even then didn't say, yeah, you know what, I should have put it to the, I should have probably delayed the fight. Cracked on with it. Tyson Scary, it's one thing. Like if AJ had a pulled out, that would have been a genuine reason. Tyson Scary, make manufacturers reasons. Now, some people are saying, well, it's because of the, the tickets weren't selling. For whatever reason it was, who's hot's that? And I'm actually thinking now, I'm, I'm, I wonder if it was all built in, to be honest. I wonder if Wilder's camp, kind of, everyone agreed. Although, I do kind of lean towards Wilder's team being cucked. I think Wilder's team were prepared to fight on July 24th. But they've been cucked, because they sat down and, and allowed Tyson Scary's team to take control of the narrative. Again, Deontay Wilder's team are sloppy. That's how they got here in the first place, having to go to court. Because if they, if they just stay, kept their foot on Tyson Scary's neck and said, no, we don't care about the fans. But if you actually notice this whole process of Wilder versus Fury Free, Tyson Scary's team, they've been the one leading everything. Don't forget, they were the ones putting it on last year. And that's why they were able to say, yeah, well, we don't want to do it yet because there's no fans. And Wilder's team just sat there, got cooked. Two twos, what happens now? Deontay Wilder just had to take Fury to court and then Bob Arum a day later tells him, oh don't worry, yeah we'll do it July 24th. And Wilder's team just sat there in the cupboard with a little peephole, Bob Arum, on there with Wilder's missus just stroking her from the back. Little, little, little old Bob. Little old Bob had Wilder and Shelley packed into the cupboard mate. And there was, and there was you know what I'm saying, peeping out there. And little old Bob was out there just roasting. Riding the legs. What's Wilder's missus name? Whatever her name is. You best believe. Bob Aaron. I have to rate him. Because for 90 years old. He was getting it in. He was riding the legs. 
What's her name? Miss something then? Is it Miss not Miss Jackson? That's that's Floyd's one. So next, let's call let's call her Miss B, yeah. Bob Arum, not year old Bob, was riding the legs off Miss B. Riding the legs off her. And guess what? Wilder was in the cupboard with Shelley just watching. Sitting sitting there biting his fingernails. Yeah? You had to take the man to court. And you got and you still got cucked. I don't know about you, man, yeah, but if I ever take a man to court and win, you best believe I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's not sit here. And end up in the cupboard. Let we better take we better take ownership of this because clearly these guys are scary. Clearly these dons are trying to find a way out. Let's get a bit of control here. No, we'll pick the date. We'll sort it all out. Now that wouldn't still Tyson scary could have pulled out, but not like this. You you might have been at least then you've got control of the narrative kind of thing. We're picking the date, but they gave you oh yeah we'll do this date. And now Wild has been sitting there thinking everything's all right and has no control and boom. At least if you'd have picked the date in the venue and worked it all out yourself, yes, it would have required a bit of work. That's another thing, just quickly, what I've noticed about a lot of these teams. Teams have devolved. Like, Don King, to be fair, yeah, he'd rob people, but at least he put some work in. These teams today, you got Tyson Fury's team. Did nothing when it comes to AJ, AJ fight. Then you got Deontay Wilder versus Fury. Wilder's team did nothing when it... You know what I'm saying? What is this? There's a whole bunch of Dons taking 10-20%. And they don't bring nothing to the table. Wilder's team have sat there for 18 months. And just sat there in the cupboard. Cucked. And this was a big cuckage again. And I, I don't even really care for Wilder. I care more for the fans who have been mugged off here. To an extent to be fair. Because the only fans who have been mugged off are the Tyson scary fans anyway. But I just hope you man, finally. After you, end, after you clean the bus from the YB off your face. I hope you man, kind of reflect. Yeah? Reflect on... How you got here. How you ended up three consecutive times ending up with a face fault from the YB. And that's just, all I'm saying is, I hope for your sake it don't happen again. Because you best believe, if you keep backing Tyson Scary, do you think it's a coincidence the YB gave him the name two days ago, Tyson Scary? I knew it. Um, the YB's linked into. Yeah? I have I have contact with the boxing, with the boxing entities, no doubt. I'm locked in there with the boxing spirits. I know what's coming. It's not nowhere, not even a bit of a coincidence. Tyson scary. Told you. And um, boom, he dropped out. And then give us a BS answer of oh I've got it and oh ten man I've got it and. But then what I don't get yet. John Fury was out there saying oh yeah you know, my son was having great sparring. So what? How can you be having great sparring and then have? Are you sick or not? I don't get that. Can you? Can someone please explain to me? Are you sick or not? And actually, last thing I'll say on this, on this video is, I want to let you man to another secret, because I told you man yesterday, when it was still up in the air and people weren't sure, I said to you man, if you think this fight's going to happen in October, you best get her, you got another thing coming. What's coming next is, Tyson of Scary is going to say he's got Long C19. Now, Long C19 is a particular kind of brand, yeah? what it is, can you best believe, the, the Cabal, they have, they have different marketing strategies, and this particular brand of C19 is a long one, it's called Long C19, and what it basically, allegedly is, is some long thing, no doubt, it lasts for like 12, 18 months, and you, and listen, what do we know, Tyson Scary didn't want to fight Wilder, that's why he took, that's why I had to go to court for it, there's one way to get out of it, I'm sick, oh, I've got long term sickness, and maybe in the thing is as well, being long term sick. Fury Fury essentially, yeah, wants to find a way to keep the belt and not fight no one. Half sharp. And if he goes to the WBC and says, Oh, I'm really sick and uh, uh, they might just sit there and think, Oh well we can't we we can't especially you know what Tyson Scary is like. Tyson Scary uses his media well. If he comes out and says, Oh, you know, I've got this, I'm I'm sick, how how can they strip a sick man kind of thing? You know what I'm saying? Put put political pressure on on the WBC. Oh, you can't strip me. Oh, how are you gonna how are you gonna strip a sick a sick man like uh, you know one of them ones? Hundred percent coming next. That's his plan. It it will get to about September and they will say, Oh, yeah, I've been battling for three months and I got I got the long C19 and it's gonna be another year and then boom, Wilder will get bored or something. Like, you know, it's gonna be one of them ones. Hundred percent because put it this way, what do we know? I don't really watch football, yeah? But some of my football dons, 
said to me, why be? Why is it being organised for October for? These football dons have had it, have been diagnosed, and they're back in in three weeks. You do understand, yeah? It's only just turned July, so let's count, let's, let's count the months together. We're in July, yeah? So to August, September, that's three, that's three months. Plus, that's if, that's if it's at the start, so it's probably going to be three and a half months. Three and a half months, and my football don is a fresh and ready to go in three weeks. And that's the point here. This wasn't nothing about a bit serious. Again, if you couldn't work it out from the fact that oh, we got ten, there's ten man with it. If you thought if you thought this was a, was a bit real, just just do a little bit of maths here. Three and a half months. What it takes so long for? I tell you what, it takes so long because three and a half months is barely the start. And again, if they had, if Tyson Scary had any, if he had any, like if he actually planned on, if he was serious about taking this fight at all, it would be a brief. It would be a brief revision, yeah, four weeks. But three and a half months tells me that you best believe the long C-19 is coming. Because I'm not being funny, <laughs> three and a half months is halfway there anyway, isn't it, really? Three and a half months! I've never heard anything like it, genuinely. I've never heard anything like it. And what it does is, as we know, we know Tyson Scary don't want to fight Wilder. We know he don't want to fight AJ. So this, this whole, this works out perfectly now. Even though he's been vaccinated, even though he's been social, whatever else, he's been fine for a year, all of a sudden it comes to getting stuck in again, and he's got this. Perfect it is. And that ma it makes sense now. Ooh, it, the bottom line is, ooh, everything Fury does, he drags out not having to fight. Guess what? As I've explained, he could have fought Wilder back in July. Cracked on with it. Didn't want to do it. He forced Wilder to take him to court. That is the definition of not wanting to fight, is it not? You don't get no more scary than that. I don't want to fight you that bad, I'm going to court. So if you think that, oh, YB, there's no way he's going to drag this out. Well, number one, he's already dragged it out. By, by making it three and a half months and not, 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 and not one month. And that's just the start. You best believe. September comes along, two months from now. Oh, you know, I've been battling and it's going to be, long, it's going to be a long thing. It's going to be a long C-19. Yeah, it's going to be organised for ne ne next June, June 2022. Because what that does is, it gives him a great built-in reason not to be fighting no one. And also, as I've explained, not only does this delay the Awada fight, it also delays the AJ fight. Which is perfect for him. He don't want to fight no one who's half sharp. No one. And then, also, after such a long layoff, <laughs> you best believe, what does that do? Set up a whole bunch of bum fights again, in between. Oh, WBC, yeah, I've kept, I've kept the belt hostage for 12, 18 months because I've been sick, but you know, I couldn't possibly get back, get stuck in again. I need to fight seven, seven bums now. That's where this is going, 100%. What, you thought he was going to, because think about it. While Fury's already been hinting about the layoff, oh, it's been 18 months. It's already been, let's, let's get something straight here, people. It's already, we're already at 18 months right now. You put in this long, you put this long study 19 in, <clears throat> it's going to be two, two and a half years. You think, what, you think after two and a half years, he can get back in and fight, and fight someone properly? Absolutely not. They're going to time out this, this clause thing, or whatever it is, time it out. I'm not being funny, what was it? Did, did, I'm sure the judge, didn't the judge say it has to be done within 90 days? In fact, yeah, I'm sure the judge said it has to be done in 90 days. Well, October, ain't knowing in 90 days. So if it ends up being, I reckon Tyson Scary's lawyers have probably looked at the contract and maybe there's some sort of legal thing about being ill, which probably makes sense, because you can't fight, you can't make someone fight if they're sick, can you? So this is most likely probably a legal strategy to get out of it. Oh yeah, we've got the, yeah, one of them ones, 100%, because it don't make no sense nowhere else, <laughs> yeah? You Tyson Scary fans, let me tell you something right now, there isn't one way... This thing makes sense if he wants to fight. This doesn't make sense. No way. Number one, because it ain't real. How about that? <laughs> but I, to be honest, that's the, that's the deal. That's the start and the end of it. Start and the end of it, it's not real. How about that? He ain't got it. So, just humor me, just humor me for a minute. You know I've been, You know the YB don't miss. You know the YB's 100% correct. So, if I'm telling you he ain't sick, 
Why is it? Why is it? Why is it taking three and a half months to reorganise a fight that you ain't sick already for? Again, John Fury was just telling us how you were sparring wicked. How can you be sparring wicked but you're real sick? Because you can't have it both ways. Oh, but why be? That's a fact, ain't that lie? It's nothing. I'm going to do all these videos. Don't worry. Exposing all Tyson Scary's sparring partners. All of Tyson Scary's sparring partners have been all in the video. Wow, Fury looking better than ever. Looking better than ever. Oh, I thought he was sick. I thought he was going through it. What is it then? Because, like I said, you can't have it both ways. Either you're really sick and you need f four months off, or you're really you really sharp and you know, yeah, you've got it. Because a positive test isn't just a positive test. If you're lighting your sparring partners up, well, yeah, positive test. I best give it four weeks. Just like, just like the football dons have been doing. Or. Oh, I'm going through it in sparring, I'm looking real bad and I'm going to need four months. Wait, that's not the case. We've been here and you've been doing sick in training. So why can't you do what the footballers have been doing? Three, four weeks. Oops. I'll tell you why, because it ain't about it. It's not real. It's all made up. And he's mugging the fans off. And I'm, I'm, I already told you, man. And I'm glad, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I already told you, man. I'm done with Tyson Scary. That's why he got his name in the first place. Tyson Fury, Tyson Scary. That's my favourite one, Tyson Scary. Because he is just, I'm sorry, yeah, historically speaking, there's a few things we know about Tyson Scary right now. Number one, he has no power. Yeah? Number two, he has no chin. And number three, the newest one, he is the scariest Don ever in history. I'm sorry, he is. If I had to pick someone who's just super scary 24-7, who lives life scary as you like. And to be fair, one of my Dons pointed out... Uh, we can't really blame him, can we, for being super scary? Because when you've got hardware like he has, when you've got that, when you've got that lineal, yeah, when you've got that lineage of wafer, graphene, nano chin that John Fury passed down, yeah, what well, I tell you, best believe Fury talks about lineal a lot. You man thought it was because of the titles, <laughs> nothing to do with that. What Fury is really referencing is his lineal chinlessness, yeah, his lineal graphene nano chin wafer. Yeah, one atom, one quark thin, one quark thick. Yeah, we're talking at the, we're talking about at the quantum level here. No doubt, the subatomic level. That's what Fury's chin's got. I told you, man, for I was joking. Elon Musk begging, begging to get the, you know what I'm saying, begging to get a sample of that chin. Yeah, no doubt. Tyson Fury, you're scary, and all your scary looking ass fans are going out super sad right now. You're an embarrassment to the sport of boxing, and I'm just, I was already done with Tyson Scary, but I'm super done with him right now, because I can't even lie to him, a little tiny bit inside me, I, could, I was, just because of the dates and whatever else, I thought, I'd even mentioned it on my Patreon, I said, yeah, well, you know, at least we've got some good things going on, we've got the Conor McTapper fight, and then two weeks later, you know, things were, things were coming along nicely, we were getting to fight season, now, that's just been pulled, which leaves a big gap. And it's been pulled for just being pulled sake. And I knew it was coming. I knew it. Now we ain't going to see that for another year. This is a bad, this is a, sport's a bad place. Tyson Scary here should have stayed retired, truth be known. He ain't got no business in the sport. He's not serious. He's a joker. He should have stayed retired. He, he ain't done nothing but just, just, yeah, just be goofy, truth be, truth be known. He's done nothing but be scary. Don't forget, when he first came back here, what happened? Eddie Hearn said to him, Tyson Scary... You talk a lot about Ali, I'm going to give you an Ali type of comeback. You can fight Tony Bellend, you can fight Dillian White, and you can get the AJ. That's what Eddie Hearn said. In fact, tell I, Eddie Hearn even said, you know what, oh, you can have one bum. Because Tyson Scary wanted to fight, who was it at that time? It was Sefer Safiri, the Silver Surfer looking ass, and some other dude. There was two dudes Tyson Scary ended up fighting, two bumps. Eddie Hearn said, you know what, Tyson, I'll give you one bum. And then you can fight Tony Belland, who's really another bum. You know what I'm saying? Dillian White and AJ. That's what Eddie Hearn said. And we should have known then. We should have known at that point he ain't serious. Because he does a lot of talking about being Lanil and, and being Ali. But that would have been the Ali thing to do. You know what? I'm going to crack on. And guess what? If he'd have cracked on with that, he could take all the time he wants with Deontay Wilder. Because the work would be done. If he ran through Bellend and Dillian White and AJ, then 
really, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even be mad at him right now because I think, well, there's nothing rush to wear. He may as well stretch this wilder thing out because it ain't going nowhere. There ain't nothing else to do. But guess what? He didn't want no part of the Ali. I call that the Ali. That was the Ali contract. Eddie Hearn offered Tyson Scary an Ali contract, no doubt. Because if Tyson Fury had come back yet and done that work, for a bum, Bellend, Dillian White and AJ, he would have got the ratings from me. I said, wow, he's serious. To come back and do all that, off, straight, off the, straight off the rip, you're serious. Psychologically and physically, you're a serious. Do you know what I'm saying? He didn't want none of that. He wanted to be, to be doing all this. Everything but fighting. And that's, what, that, that's where Tyson Scary is in his element. He likes going to Vegas and going to Miami and going to the shows and having his shirt unbuttoned and bouncing off the walls and on, you know what I'm saying, off the white, railing the white, etc, etc. He don't really want to be getting it. He don't. Actions speak louder than words. And we know Tyson, guess, guess what, Tyson Scary never had to pull out of turning up with Adrian Broner, did he? Isn't it? I don't remember him saying, oh, Adrian, I can't come because I'm sick. Oh, I'm busy. He was turning up. Yeah? I didn't hear him sending a, sending an email or putting a press release out saying, Oh, sorry, table. I can't dance all up on side you because I, I, I'm sick. No. He danced on the table. He bounced off the walls. He railed all the white. No problem. All of a sudden, after 18 months off, and you had enough time bumming around and just being a bum. Oh no, you want to bomb some more? Okay then. But don't involve us. Don't involve the fans, the hardcore number one... And tell her, don't, and that's another thing, don't involve me. Don't involve the, the number one trainer. Yeah? Don't involve the number one trainer, or sorry, number three trainer in boxing. They don't do it. Don't drag, don't drag me into it. Yeah? The number three trainer in the world don't need to be dragged into your, this thing. Because you've associated it with boxing. We've got other things to do. But Fury likes, Tyson Scary likes being in the video. He likes people, oh yeah. He likes the idea of that. But he don't want to fight. He don't. He likes to nick, he likes to nick the belt and just kind of hang, and one of them ones, hold it, hold it hostage. He likes getting, he likes being known as the world champion, but he doesn't. If that makes sense. He likes being nice. Of course he does. Who wouldn't? Who wouldn't want to be? Who wouldn't want to be the? And that's why. Who, who wouldn't be, want to be the, the champion all the time? But he wants to be a champion all the time. And not work. And not have to do anything for it. He wants to get all that recognition and, and the fame. But not put no work in. It's shocking. And in my opinion. He should be stripped right now. Genuinely. I think WBC, WBC should strip him. And say Fury you're out. You can get first dibs, but for now it's Dillian versus Wilder for the belt. That's what I think should happen. Because that belt's been inactive for how long? 18 months now. That belt has been inactive for 18 months. WBC, strip Tyson Scary and say, listen Tyson, you can play you can play long C19. You can play C19 as long as you want. Yeah? Take two years if you need to. But this belt, Fury ver I mean Dillian White versus Wilder. Or, better yet, Deontay versus AJ for the belt. <laughs> yeah? Because we already know you sucks and, and... That's not been locked in yet. It's even better. That's what should happen right now. And that actually would expose Deontay Wilder. Let's see if Wilder wants it. Because let's not forget, yeah? Tyson Fury doesn't own WBC. So it's this whole Wilder and Fury thing. Wilder has a lean, has a claim against Fury. He don't have no claim against the belt. WBC is their own business. They run their own business. Wilder can't force WBC to do anything. So WBC needs to strip Fury and get Wilder versus someone. Dillian or AJ. Let me tell you something right now. Don't bring no bum in, WBC. Don't strip him and bring some random Dom bum in. Don't be doing that. Oh, well, Wilder versus Brazil too. That's what's coming next, 100%.